Hi guys, it's Carol. How are ya? This is Sunday afternoon. Um, Casey has been sick all week, and so she had to work today to make up for it. She stocks greeting cards, as you know, usually at Walmarts, but today she had to go do a Dollar General store in a little town called Claude, Texas. And so I went with her just to get out of town. <laughs> I was excited. Um, and then 11 miles east of Claude is the little town of Goodnight, Texas. It's named after Charles Goodnight. I think I've told you about him before. He's, he and his wife Marianne are called the father and mother of the panhandle because they, uh, I think they had the first ranch in the Texas Panhandle, Charles Goodnight and Jane A. Adair went together and had this huge ranch. It's called the J.A. Ranch after the initials of Mr. Adair. And um, Mary Ann, her, her nickname was Molly, is credited with saving the Southern Plains buffalo because uh, buffalo hunters in the 1800s just about killed them all. I mean, they went from like a, a herd of over 10,000 to 300. And so uh, Marianne Goodnight convinced her husband to get the calves of the remaining herd and um, take care of them. And so they did. Now, because of her, there is a herd in Texas. It is um, uh, down by Cal Paladura Canyon, and uh, Texas Wildlife is responsible for taking care of them now. But she saved the buffalo. Uh, and then what else? Oh, the there's going to be a statue of a Native American holding up a buffalo skull uh, to the gods, I guess. And that is in front of a little store that's really close to the Charles Goodnight house, which is what I went to Goodnight to see. Um, and the little store is called the Herdware Retail Store. And it sells all things bison. <laughs> um, they have, oh, anything made out of leather. They have out of, uh, that is made out of buff buffalo leather. They sell buffalo meat. They do have some uh, silver and uh, turquoise jewelry. They had cases and cases. I saw some earrings I really liked. Uh, there wasn't a tag showing on anything. And I know if you have to ask how much it costs, then you can't afford it. <laughs> but I came home and looked it up. That pair of earrings was $275. Um, everything was very pricey in this little store. Uh, Gee, uh, there were some shoes that I really liked, and they were over $300. Um, but anyway, if you want anything made out of buffalo hide or to own a buffalo hide, uh, that's the place to get it. Oh, they also take the um, undercoat, I think he said, uh, of the buffalo and uh, spin that into yarn. And they had scarves, hats, mittens. One pair of mittens out of the buffalo hair was $95. <laughs> so I didn't bring home any souvenirs from there. <laughs> but it was interesting to see. Um, I can't remember what else uh, is on here. But anyway, I'm going to go. I'm about to melt. It's hot. And I will talk to you another day. Bye-bye. Oh, this is my See What I Saw video for today, Sunday, June 13th, 2021. Bye-bye. And Marilyn, happy birthday. I know your birthday's tomorrow. Okay, bye-bye. I've told you guys before that our baseball team is called the Sod Poodles. This is the stadium the city built for them called Hodgetown. And that thing costs somewhere between $45 million and $50 million. Oh. I love this old red truck. It sits in front of Tyler's Barbecue. 
and that emblem on the door says, Support Texas Barbecue. I've told you about the public art project called Hoof Prints of the American Quarter Horse, and this is Amarillo College's Quarter Horse. I think he is beautiful. This is a statue in front of the Herd Wear Retail Store in Goodnight, Texas. He's holding up a buffalo skull. We went to Claude, Texas today. It's a little town about 30 miles east of Amarillo. And I would, thought I would take a picture of what the Texas Panhandle looks like. This is what it looks like everywhere in the Panhandle. They're just flat. <laughs> This is the Charles and Marianne Goodnight House. Charles Goodnight, uh, I'll do a video about him. There's more to tell than I can tell standing here. You can tour it. It's a historical site. You can tour it for $10, but they're closed today. Bye, guys. If you could, please leave me a comment and a thumbs up. Thank you. Bye-bye.